is Alex from Alex Lego TV, and today is the first time we have an empty blank studio. Well, you guys might see here, but today we're doing the Lego City cargo train. It is set number six zero zero five two, and it's ages six to twelve. It comes with eight hundred and eighty-eight pieces, and includes power functions. You got an RI receiver, motor, battery box. Um, then you got the uh, remote controller, but batteries are not included. So here is the back of the box. You can see it comes with some nice action features. And it comes with one switch, eight straights and 20 curves, and one more switch. So here's that. So now let's take a look at the cargo train. Let's first start off with the big thing. So here it is, the Lego City cargo train. So I guess we could start off with the cockpit. Inside the cockpit we have a seat and a controller panel right there. And I thought there was a coffee mug because it's a city set, but no. The doors open very easily, if you will. Very easily. Uh -huh. So this piece up here, you're not supposed to take off, but I'll show it for demonstration reasons. It comes off. It has a printed power button. And on the back, there's a red piece that turns it on. So here's inside, that green piece right there. That's what turns it on. So that red thing hits the green piece when you push this one right here, the middle one. It hits the green piece. And then inside of that, you have the receiver here. And it would tell you what color to put on here so you won't get mixed up on which uh, one. So you can put the blue here. And then... You could have something else or something. You get one of these and you could do something else. But then you got that. The That switches from here to here up to the top. And it comes with six AAA batteries when I put them in, I remember. And it has a nice printed uh, cargo train piece there. And it has these slides that come down here. So, building demonstration. If I can. There we go. Okay, and then this guy goes here. Okay, and then, yeah, and two horns, front, back, and then the back are actually motors, and it has some nice stickers here. But, uh, yeah, so the motor is, very, is just a normal one. Like I said, that blue piece tells you that it's blue. This is the emergency stop button. This one makes it go. <laughs> I did actually not know that was gonna happen. And then the red, you can do something else. But then you got the turnaround button, so it could be going that way. This does not come with it. We just put it on, and then you have uh, pieces, and then one of those. Before that thing goes off again, let's take a look at the carts. Magnetic here. Oh god, stop it. Okay, so this is the car by itself with no accessories included. Here's the bottom, here's that. And let me grab some accessories right here. Here's one. Uh, where's the octane tank? Oh, there it is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's my you grab it? Okay, there you go. So you can put the octane tank there, and then you can have that. And we'll take a look at the forklift right now after I show you guys this. So there's that. This is the full car right here. Put the forklift and everything on it. Driving away. But taking the forklift off. So you can put a minifig in here. The back part opens up, and if you will, very easily. Two control sticks. I'll show you from uh, how you, okay, like a side angle. So this comes down, this comes down, goes up and down. You got a steering wheel. This part can move down like this and then it has one of these whoa okay there you go better so it has one of these orange lights on the top four wheels it's sort of aiming down but the forklift like i said you can move it like this and then make sure you get this for your kids make sure they don't hit themselves but you take one of these i should say this one because it's on a rubber band so if you take this like this I'll show show it the right way, and then I'll show it the weird way. So you do this, 
could pull it back and then drive away with it. Or, if your kid doesn't know how to use it, this is a demonstration of probably what you'll do. <laughs> so then, yeah, there's that. So that's that. So now let's move on to the moon cow cart, like I said. So you would take this guy, which I'll show you in a sec. You put this guy right on the moo moo cow, and this is sort of a minifigure, the moo moo cow. So I'll show you guys that later when we get to the minifigures. But here's the cart. It comes with two hay bales, one bucket, and it's water. Well, there's no water in it, but yeah. So these things can move up and down. These wheels actually don't turn, they're just stable. So yeah, it's that. Mm -hmm. So now let's move on to this. I'll take one off for demonstration purposes, but it comes with two. Okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. Very easily. Okay, as long as that one doesn't work. So you got two electric cars with one sticker on it. And then now let's see if I can put this thing back together quickly. So we'll be wasting time. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Red face. Okay, so you got that. That goes on there. There are two cards. You can take them off. Put them on the car. And then, yeah. So you take one of these. I'll show you in a sec when we get to the train. So I'll leave that out there. But now, let's look, take a look at the car. The cargo uh, cars. And I wish this thing came back because my dad has a dump truck. And I have another dump truck sitting over there that it comes back with. I'm not asking for more. It's a pretty good build. So inside you have a coffee cup, a steering wheel. You got some mirrors, glass. Doors open like this. You got two of these, so you could take the, just use this one, and we could put this guy the roof back on. Da 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 da. So where's the moon moon cow guy? Never mind. So oh there he is. So now. Let's take a look at the moment you've all been waiting for, except for the train. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, if you get this for your kids, just say to not hold it like I just did. Or else it'd be breaking, bro broken how I just did. So, yeah, here's that. You got a forklift right there, uh, a buggy. And then you got a trap, you got a recycling bin, and then a trash can, an octan thingy right here. And then you got two crates here, so you can put, there it is, put this thing right here, and then wait until the forklift comes in, and then, oh man, <laughs> wait till the forklift comes in, moves it back, brings it to the truck, drops it. <laughs> so... And then here's the back. It comes with a coffee mug. So it comes with a coffee. Well, it comes with a coffee mug, seat, and a computer. So while you guys are taking a look at that, I'm gonna put this back on. There we go. So now let's take a look at the crane. So this thing moves back and forth. Well, you got track pieces, of course, because you need it. So this thing moves back and forth. This top piece moves side to side. So, you, and then you got this, you got the string here that can move down. So, that's why I took the electrical off, because the string here, the string can come on the sides, or the rope, if you will. Comes on here. So, let's just say there's an invisible train here, and then this thing comes on here. You have to roll it up. Come on. Yeah, so that goes there. Or you could do, you could do, let's put for demonstration, let's put some, put the car on. Mm -hmm. So the car's back here. You move this here, and then move this thing to the side. Be like there's a crane that's just holding it so it'll be straight, and then you can just drop it. There you go. Done. 
Then you drop it some more to get the string off, then move it. Whoa! I'm moving the car. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, but um, I'm going to say bye Matt, well, later because we're probably going to end the video over there. But um, I'm going to show you guys the, um, the track, but the if you guys can see, the, the race track doesn't come. So, let's not say it now. So, let's see you guys over there. So, I did show the minifigures, so let's do them now before that. So, here's the girl. That's a good display model right there. So she comes with a cargo train torso piece, just some normal standard gray pants, and a red hat with brown, with a black headphone piece. So now let's take a look at the cargo train driver. He comes with the same torso piece, red cap, and some gray torso pants. Go. And then you got the car driver. He has sunglasses, red cap, and a blue torso piece with some torso things on it, and then navy pants. And then, so then, then the Moo 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 Cow driver has red and green um, torso, green green pants. And yeah, and this guy is the only one that has a back printing on it, so there's back printing. And then there's just the back printing on these, but nothing on the blue guy. So now let's take a test run for the train. <laughs> so let's go. This thing goes really, really fast, so I'm not going to make it go that fast. Epic fail crash. Need the cops over here. So here it goes. Here it is. Yay. Full speed. Then I hit the emergency red button on the controller, and that's how you make it stop. And, it goes. and another cool feature about it is it goes backwards. So you just hit it the opposite direction, and it goes backwards. Yay. And then you can make it go really slow. Stop it. And this piece, I'll show you guys because I was twisting it this way. You flip this piece um, the opposite direction. Twist it this way, it's going to go forward. Twist it that way, it's going to go backwards. So you, if you're a righty or lefty, you just put it on a different piece or whatever. So you can use this or that. I'm a righty, so yeah. So now let's do the ending. So thank you guys for watching. 